Okay, next we'll have the Karate Kids coming up. Um, it's a great pleasure for me to introduce you to the Shogun Dojo Karate and Kickboxing Demonstration. Uh, Terra Shogun Dojo has been owned and operated by Sensei Ember Piper since 2008. She has traveled around the world to compete in sport karate, but her true passion lies in having a local dojo where her, her students of all ages can feel at home. Shogun Dojo includes karate, kickboxing, point fighting, and emphasis on self-defense and respect for opponents. Now, this is a very disciplined art, as you will see, and uh, one of the important components of martial arts is a concept called zanshin. So in other words, if you disable your enemy, you still have to step back and make sure you're at a safe distance before you turn your back away because the enemy might attack you as well. And this applies to fires as well. When you are fighting fire, you've got to make sure the fire is completely put out before you can relax your guard. And I think they're having a big problem uh, in, uh, at Fort McMurray because they're just going like crazy of a huge surface area. So uh, it's just um, something to remember, something in martial arts can apply to your everyday life, including fires as well. So without further ado, please give it up for Sensei Ember Pipe and the team. Hi guys. Is this on? Hello, hello, there we go. Okay, thank you for being here. It's an honor to be part of um, such a charity for um, the people in Fort McMurray. I'm very honored to run Shogun Dojo. Um, I have amazing students. I'm only as good as the students and the instructors that I have. So first of all, I couldn't do what I do without Sensei Karin Lotz. She has 25 years experience in Shotokan Karate, and she has just been a blessing to Shogun Dojo since she's been in Terrace. So I'm gonna bring Sensei Karin out with Karateka Kids. Once they line up, they're going to demonstrate just basic techniques that we do in class. Starting with blocks, and then they're going to move into some strikes and some kicks. And then they're going to separate, and they're going to show you a kata. Uh, a kata is a pattern of techniques that's used. It was actually created because at one point martial arts was banned. And in order for martial artists to continue their art, they turned it into sort of a dance. Our style is hard form. It's hard style. These kids here are very gifted.
Thank you, Sensei Khan. Os. So that's a little bit of the karate that we do. That's our technical sport. I also have a team of fighters, a fabulous team of fighters. And my instructor, my co-instructor, Rajan Sangha, has been with me for a while. We travel all over the world together. And watching this young man fight is like watching poetry in motion. He really is an absolute star when it comes to point fighting and continuous fighting. Sensei Rajan. He's going to demonstrate a point fight with one of our, oh, where is he? One of our um, longtime students. I still think that he's nine years old. He's been with us since he was nine, I think. He'll probably correct me. And I still call him nine. Seven? Seven, since he was seven. It's been a long time. So, Nick Yasinchuk, come on out, please. So in point fighting, it's a lot of stop and start, and it's based on a point system. You can hit to the side of the head, the top of the head, and to the body. Nothing below the waist and nothing to the back. I'm going to judge. I'm going to have to hand the mic over, and I will be a center judge, and I'm going to ask Adrian and Robbie to come out, and they're going to help me referee this fight. We're going to do two one-minute rounds, or two a minute and a half rounds. So, Karate Kids, how many of you want Sensei Rajan to win? <laughs> Ruthless! Okay, how many of you want Senpai Nick Yasinchuk to win? Well, I'm pretty sure you've got some family in the crowd that'll cheer for you, Sensei Rajan. There was 4,200 competitors in Ireland, and the proceeds for the whole tournament went to children's charity. I try to get these guys out of the country a couple times a year because I think that they're just so talented, it's a waste to just leave them in our sleepy little town. Our dojo is open to all ages, as you can see from our karate kids, and for myself and Sensei Karn. We're not, uh, 
We're not exactly 18 anymore, but we still got a lot of fight left in us. them to get their equipment on. While we're waiting for the guys to get their equipment on, I'd like to call Sensei Karin up, please. This lady has blessed our town, she has blessed our dojo, she has blessed our children, and she is very, very talented. I'm going to ask her to do a kata on the spot. Thank you very much. I know South Africa misses you, but I'm glad that we have you. The next style of fighting that we're going to demonstrate is continuous fighting. It's like boxing with legs. These two fighters, they're both champions. Far too often when we get to a tournament, they actually have to face each other in the ring. And they still manage to train together, hang out together, and love one another. So today, <clears throat> I'm going to ask you guys to help us judge, okay? We're going to have Sensei Rajan 
as the center judge, and I'm going to hand the mic over to him. Okay. Um, so these guys, these two, they, they obviously they compete in different weight categories. But tournaments that we sometimes go to, there's, there's nobody to fight against. They end up fighting against each other. Um, first, we'll introduce Robbie. He's been with us for like three years now. This is Robbie Klein. Um, he, first tournament we took Robbie to, he competed in an underbelt category and won grand championship for the first time. And I think that's part of what got him hooked into, into our sport. So we're really happy to have, have Robbie in our club. Next, we have Adrian Babcock. Going on, Adrian. Adrian has been competing in martial arts since he was since he was five years old. He started with Shane Palahickey doing jiu-jitsu. And when we take Adrian to a tournament, it's like he's got ice in his veins. Nothing really phases him. So um, he's, he's first tournament we took him to again. He won everything. And so he's got, the, he's got the compete level like nobody else. So this is continuous kickboxing, it's called. So what we're looking for when these two fight is they're gonna continuously fight for a minute and a half two minute and a half rounds. When me and Nick were fighting every single point, the center judge would stop and the three judges would award the point to whatever side they thought got it. And the majority of whoever gets the point, they, they get the point for that one clash. In continuous fighting, they're not gonna stop unless one of them gets pushed out of the ring or if another person throws an illegal technique. Now what the judges are looking for and what you guys are looking for is who scores the most points in that minute and a half, two minute and a half rounds, and who gets hit the least. So who's basically in control of the fight? It's going to be tough for you guys to judge because these two are pretty, pretty even in, in their technique and their level. So come on in, guys. Okay, now they'll take a 30 second break. And so each round is judged individually, okay? So they'll take a 30 second break and then they'll come in and they'll do the exact same thing for another minute and a half. So if you were watching out there, how many of you thought Adrian won that round? Well, don't put your hands up, I want you to scream. Who thought Adrian won? Okay, who thought Robbie won? I don't know, I think, you, I think you have some work to do, Adrian. Okay, come on in, guys, round two.
Thank you, gentlemen. So as you can see, nobody's bruised, nobody's bleeding. Okay, we do this as a sport. We do it for fun. We do it for discipline. Can I please have all of Shogun Dojo come on up and line up together? Every student that gets on this stage has a special place in my heart. Shogun Dojo would not run without the parents and without the dedication of you parents bringing your children to class faithfully, ironing their geese, unless you did that yourself. Did you do that yourself, Farron? No, I didn't think so. Be together. Yo! Thank you, everybody.